Good morning. Thank you for joining us this morning. Our God, our Father, is a faithful God. It's the God that has promised to make us joyful in the house of prayer. Isaiah 56 verse 7 says, These I will bring to my holy mountain and give them joy in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be accepted on my altar. For my house will be called a house of prayer for all nations. Hallelujah. Thank you, mighty Father. Let us stand on the promises this morning. There are many that we can stand upon this morning, but let us thank him for all these promises that mighty Father will give you praise this morning. We thank you, Father, Lord, our God. Lord, we thank you because we are establishing righteousness and oppression is far from us. Lord, we thank you, Father, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning for we are redeemed from the cause of the law. We are redeemed from poverty. We are redeemed from sickness. We are redeemed from spiritual death lord our god we thank you for all your promises so lord standing on that promises this morning that no weapon formed against us shall prosper and that every tongue that shall rise against us in judgment we shall condemn oh father we thank you for all these promises this morning that you have promised us in your word that we overcome all because greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world 
Thank you, mighty Father. Lord, thank you, Father, because we are delivered from the power of darkness and translated into the kingdom of your of your dear son. Thank you, mighty Father, because you promised us that we will tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt us. Father, Lord, we thank you for one of your promises that we do not have the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Oh, standing on that promises this morning, we cannot fail. Thank you, mighty Father, because we are blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Lord, we thank you because we are healed by the stripe of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for you are not our head with all, and our cup runs over. Good Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. Thank you, mighty Father, because we receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And we reign in Christ Jesus, in the name of Jesus. We have life, and that's more abundantly. All these are all your promises, of which we are standing upon this morning. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, mighty Father, that as we walk in the light, as he is in the light and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. So, Father, Lord, we thank you because we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. So, Lord, this morning we pray, will there be any sin in our life that will hinder us on the prayer platform? Lord, we ask for your forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray this morning that any power, any way that have come, to this prayer platform to hinder me this morning in the name of jesus christ i bind you in the mighty name of jesus i bind any power in the hair on the earth underneath the sea that has come to resist my prayer this morning in the name of jesus christ i bind you i bind you in the mighty name of jesus christ the word of god say i shall decree a thing and it shall be established in my life this morning any power anyway any principalities any dominion any kingdom that has set themselves up to hinder me this morning on this prayer platform in the name of jesus guys i bind you in the mighty name of jesus in jesus name amen we're still standing on the promises of god this morning then thank him that father i thank you because your word promise i'll be the head and not the tail thank you mighty father lord i thank you for wealth and riches are in my house and my righteousness endures forever lord i give you praise this morning because i will be satisfied with long life and god will show me his son salvation blessed be to your name lord this morning because i dwell in the sacred place of the most high and i abide under the shadow of the almighty no evil will be for me no evil will be for my family no plague shall come near my dwelling this day in the mighty name of jesus declare this morning that in the name of jesus the lord has promised that my children are taught of the lord and great is their peace Father, these are all the promises we are standing upon this morning. We thank you, mighty Father, for we are rooted and grounded in love. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you for the strength that you are giving to us. We have come to get strength, to renew our strength, oh, Lord, in your presence this morning. So, Father, Lord, we thank you. Blessed be to your name, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, hallelujah. For some times now, this thing has been bothering my mind. And I want us to deal with it this morning. Overcoming the power of frustration. We all experience it in a different degree, you know, different level. And in all areas of life, we experience it. Whether at home, at work, even in the church. That spirit of frustration, that power of frustration, we face it. But how do we deal with it? What should we do? How do we recognize this power in the first place? The power of frustration is a force that we need to deal with. 
is a force and the Lord will help us. The book of Galatians 6 verse 10, it says, Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people. Let me read it from verse 9, but it's essentially. Let us not become weary in doing good. Let us not become weary. That is, there is tendency for us to become weary. There is some forces that want us to be weary. There are some forces that is operating to frustrate our effort in every way possible. So the Bible is encouraging us this morning, to somebody this morning, let us not become weary in doing good. For at the proper time, we reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. I know, you know yourself, it is discouraging to continue to do right and receive no word of thanks or see no tangible result. But Paul challenged the Galatians and he challenges us today to keep on doing good and to trust God for the result. In due time, we will reap a harvest of blessing. But dealing with this frustrating spirits. This is not just, you know, they, they have a way that they can frustrate you. You do this, you know, uh, you cannot complete it. Failure, failure, failure. You're almost there. My question to you this morning, if we're going to, have you ever been frustrated? It's not a very good feeling, is it? Frustration rob you of your peace of mind when it simultaneously tries to smother you with a cloak of hopelessness. That is the goal. Frustration can also poison good and divine relationship that God has signed for your life. It's a power that we must reckon with. The dictionary rightfully defines frustration as a feeling of dissatisfaction, often accompanied by anxiety or depression, resulting from unfulfilled needs or unresolved problem. Do you have a need? Do you have a problem that has not been resolved? It can be frustrating. So many of us are being haunted by unhandy frustration. It seems like everything we touch gets frustrated by the enemy. And some, you know, we cry, we weep, and some we try, you know, throw up their hand and, and say, okay, I resign. I resign themselves to a life of failure and mediocre. But this not have to be so. The Bible is encouraging us, do not give up. There's a way out. So this morning, I'm going to do our prayer in a different way. We're going to approach God this morning. Because our Father is the one that has solution to all these problems. So bear with me this morning. I, may be, I will be slow so that you can repeat the prayer after me. We're going to go to the court of heaven this morning. You know, we have the legal right. To come to God. is our judge. If you read your Bible very well. You know God is a judge. Jesus Christ is one. You know portray it. Is the righteous judge. Is the one that has the final say. Of our situation. So this morning. We are going to go to God. To help us. With this frustration spirit. With, to break down this altar of frustration in our life, in our bloodline. You know, it may not be happen to you, but you know somebody in your family that the effort is being frustrated. 
So this morning, it may be a long prayer, but bear with me. It may be short, just bear with me. Let us go to God. You are going to God this morning, not because of what we have done, but because of what Christ has accomplished for us on the cross of Calvary, to deal with the altar of frustration. Wherever this altar is this morning, the Lord God Almighty will destroy it in the name of Jesus. And so we're going to, before we pray, we're going there to the, the throne room of God to enter the courtroom to get a restraining order. If, no, if any of you understand how the court system happened, before you have to get the restraining order, is when they violate that order. We already know they violated it, but let us go through the process. Get a restraining order against this power, and then we will face it. We'll be able to say, in the name of Jesus Christ, do this, do this, okay? So this morning, let us pray. Heavenly Father, you are holy and righteous. You are greatly to be praised. Lord, we worship, we adore you in the name of Jesus. We ask, may your kingdom manifest in my life, in the life of my loved ones. Make your names this morning. Lord, my Father, may your kingdom manifest in my life as it is in heaven. Plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Fight against any entity or person or institution who is contending against me and my family. Heavenly Father, it is written in Psalm 27 verse 6 that now my head will be lifted above my enemies around me. In his tent, I will offer sacrifices and shouts of joy. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Father, I enjoy my worship to the heavenly chorus of worship of your holy angels and the crowd of witnesses in the name of Jesus. Gracious Father, you are the righteous judge. I ask that the courts of heaven be seated. According to Daniel chapter 7, verse 9 and 10, I ask this in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For it is written, I'm reading that verse now. I kept looking until thrones were seated up and the ancient of days, God took his seat. His garment was white as snow and the hair of his head like pool pure wool. His throne was flames of fire. His wheels were a burning fire. A river of fire was flowing and coming out before him. A thousand thousands were attending him, and ten thousand times ten thousand were standing before him. The court was seated, and the books were open. Heavenly Father, collectively, individually, this morning, we are requesting the privilege of standing before the courtroom of the ancients of this, according to what was revealed to prophet Daniel. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray. Father, we are standing in your courtroom this morning because the blood and finished work of Jesus on the cross. We have come, O oh Lord, to receive your righteous judgments over our life over our children's life, over our loved one's lives, against the spirits and altar of frustration. 
that Satan planted in our generational bloodline. Heavenly Father, we call upon your holy angels to be witnesses to our lawsuit and righteous prosecution of the evil lotter of frustration. We decree and declare that this evil altar of frustration we not frustrate the grace of God in our life, in my life, in my children's life, in the life of my loved ones. Neither will it frustrate important divine relationships in my life, in the life of my children, in the life of my loved one. And neither will it frustrate my career or my business venture. In the name of Jesus Christ. Neither will it frustrate my children's career, my children's business for venture. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us submit our right to the Lord this morning. Our right of self-representation this morning. Submit it to the Lord. Because we have Jesus Christ as our advocate. Oh, Father God. Your word in First John 2 tells us that my little children... This thing I write to you so that you may not sin. And if anyone sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he himself is the propitiation for our sins. And not for us only, but also for the whole world. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are our faithful advocate before the righteous judge in the courts of heaven. So, Lord Jesus, we surrender our right to self-representation and we summon you as our advocate to help plead our case before the righteous judge and prosecute the evil altar of frustration that Satan planted in our bloodline. We also ask the blessed Holy Spirit, who is the highest officer of the court of heaven here on earth, to make us sensitive to the proceedings of this court in order to successfully prosecute the evil altar of frustration in the name of Jesus Christ. Father in heaven, even as we stand in your royal courtroom, we present ourselves as a living sacrifice, a holy and acceptable before you, according to Romans 12, 1. Righteous and righteous judge, we summon the altar of frustration in our bloodline and the idol that sits on it to appear before your royal court to face persecution in the name of Jesus Christ. Because it is written in 1 Corinthians 6, 3. Do you not know that we believers, we judge angels, how much more then as to matters of this life? Oh, gracious Lord, we exercise our God-given authority in Christ Jesus to judge demons and principalities in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty Father, it is also written in your word in 1 John 3, 8. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Lord, we know until the end of the age of sin, Satan still have legal access to the courts of heaven to level accusations against the children of men because it is written in the book of Revelation 2.10 then I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom, that is the dominion reign of our God, and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our believing brothers and sisters have been thrown down at last. He who accuses them and keeps bringing charges of sinful behavior against them before our God day and night. Father Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ also said in the book of Matthew 5, 23, that come to terms quickly at the earliest opportunity with your opponent at law while you are with him on the way to court so that your opponent does not hand you over to the judge 
and the joy to the God, and you are thrown into prison. Our Father in heaven, in all humanity this morning, while renouncing the spirit of pride, we choose to quickly agree with the legal accusations of our adversary, Satan. Righteous judge, every accusation that Satan has filed against us this morning and our bloodline in this court, we agree they are true. And so, Father, we repent. We repent for our personal transgressions and for the sins and iniquities of our forefathers that opened the door for the spirit and altar of frustration to operate in our life, in the life of our loved ones. We repent of them, Lord. Lord, every sin of our forefathers that the enemy is using as a legal right to build cases against us and to deny us our destiny, we ask that the blood of Jesus will just wash them away. Father God, we also repent for self-inflicted world causes and all covenants with demons that have existed in our ancestral bloodline. We are asking, Lord, that every covenant with demonic powers will now be revoked and that their right to claim us and our bloodline will now be dismissed before your courts in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for revoking this demonic covenant and evil altar in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, in our heartfelt desire to divorce ourselves from the spirits and the altar of frustration, we give back everything and anything that the devil will say came from his kingdom. We only want what the blood of Jesus Christ has secured for us. That is all we want, Lord. So, Lord, we thank you for the cleansing that we receive by the blood of Jesus. Lord, thank you for cleansing us by your blood. So Satan has no legal footing against us in your courtroom. Because your word tells us so, Lord, in 1 John 1, 9, that if we admit that we have sinned and confess our sin, he is faithful and just, true to his own nature and promises, and we forgive our sins and cleanse us continually from all unrighteousness, from all our wrongdoings, everything not in conformity with his will and purpose. So, our Heavenly Father, you are the righteous judge. We appeal to the blood of Jesus to wipe out all our shortcomings, all our transgressions, all our iniquities in the name of Jesus. We pray we receive by faith the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, based upon Jesus' finished work and our heartfelt repentance, we now move on the court of heaven to dismiss all of Satan's accusations and charges against us, against our bloodline, in the name of Jesus. For it is written that the accuser of the brethren has been cast down. So, Father, we ask you, Father God, to cast down all of Satan's accusations against us, against our children, against our loved ones, in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we ask, Heavenly Father, we ask that you send your high-ranking angelic officers of the court who excel in strength to execute the judgment of your Supreme Court and destroy the evil altar of frustration and the idol that sit on it, that Satan planted in our bloodline in the name of Jesus Christ. By the spirit of prophecy, we prophesy the complete destruction of the evil altar of frustration in our life, in our children's life, in our family, in the name of Jesus Christ. Because, Lord, your word says in Psalm 91, verse 11 to 12, for we will, he will command his angels to, to, in regard to you to protect and defend and guide you in all your ways of obedience and service. They will lift you up in their hands so that you do not even strike your foot against a stone. Father, we receive angelic assistance right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So our Father and our God, you are the righteous judge. We present before your Supreme Court the following scripture 
as our evidence against the spirit and altar of frustration in our life. Because it is written in Galatians 2.21 that I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if righteousness come by law, then Christ is dead in vain. It is written in Isaiah 54, 7, 17, that no weapon that is formed against you will succeed. And every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you will condemn. This peace, this righteousness, this security and triumph over opposition is the privilege of the servant of the Lord. And this is their vindication from me, says the Lord. So our Father and our God, this morning, based upon the affirmation scriptures, it is clear that the spirit and altar of frustration, if allowed to succeed in our life, it will cause great injury to our life, to our, the life of our loved ones, to our destiny. And also it will affect, it will inflict irreparable damages to the purpose of God. So Lord, we're asking. We ask that every legal right, the spirit and altar of frustration and sudden be revoked in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, based upon the affirmation scripture, it is clear that we qualify for a divine restraining order against the altar of frustration and the idol that sits on it in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Father, our everlasting Father, <laughs> merciful Father, in your mercy, we now ask for a divine restraining order and a permanent injunction against the spirit and altar of frustration in our life. That it will be issued by the authority of your Supreme Court in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we decree and declare that any and all forms of frustration, plans that the devil has issued or is orchestrating against our life, against our children, against our family and our loved one, that they are canceled now in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, this morning, we receive this divine restraining order and permanent injunction by faith in the name of Jesus. Because your word assures us that in Hebrew 11 verse 6, that but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For whoever comes near to God must necessarily believe that God exists and that he rewards those who honestly and diligently seek him. We believe and we declare by faith that the spirit and altar of frustration in our life has been judged in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we are asking you, Lord, as the righteous judge, we now ask you to seal our righteous verdict against the spirit and altar of frustration. To seal it with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And may you also cover with the blood of Jesus all our legal proceedings in this court in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that our righteous verdicts of release and breakthrough from the all evil altar of frustration is now secured in the document of the court of heaven. For it is written in John Gospel chapter 3, uh, chapter 8, verse 36. So if the Son makes you free, then you are unquestionably free. I decree and declare that I am free. My family are free. My children are free. My loved ones are free of the evil altar of stagnation, the evil altar of frustration, the evil altar of failure in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every evil altar of non-achievement I demolish this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to declare this morning. Thank the Lord for the freedom. Because to this purpose, Christ came to set us free this morning. Thank the Lord this morning that we receive the value this morning against every altar of frustration, whether at home, whether at work, whether in any form, in any shape that they are manifested this morning. We already, already received the, the, the divine restriction against them this morning. And that gives Give us the power to now enter into our prayer platform this morning to demolish 
No one has shamed me this morning. No more. No more this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. Be made a cause for us. For it is written. Cause is everyone that hangeth on a tree. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. That we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Hallelujah. This morning let us thank the Lord. That my Father, my Lord, I thank you. For making the provision for my deliverance from any form of bondage this morning father i thank you that today is my day my day of deliverance lord i thank you father lord because your word assures us that who had delivered us from the power of darkness and translated us from to the kingdom of his dear son oh father we thank you this morning we come into your caution we praise oh lord having received the, the restra restraining order against the spirit of frustration because lord your words says, having spoiled principalities and powers, you made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it this morning. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Father. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Thank you for the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Now begin to pray that I release myself and my family from any inherited bondage in the name of Jesus Christ. I release myself and my family from every inherited bondage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I release myself and my family from any inherited bondage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pray this morning that my father, Send your acts of fire to the foundation of my life and destroy every evil plantation there in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, this morning. <laughs> Send your acts of fire to destroy every evil plantation in my foundation, in my children's foundation, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father, Lord, this morning, let your acts of fire destroy every evil plantation in my foundation, in my children's foundation, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray that, oh, Lord, let the blood of Jesus flush out from my sister every inherited satanic deposit in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty Father God, let the blood of Jesus Christ flush out of my system. Every inherited satanic deposit in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, precious blood of Jesus, flush out from my system, flush out from my children's system this morning. Every evil inherited satanic deposit in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. I release myself and my children from the grip of any problem transfer into their life into my life from the womb i release them i release myself i release my children from any grip of problem that is transferred into their life from the womb in the name of jesus christ pray this morning i break and i lose myself from every inherited evil covenant in the name of jesus christ you were not there when they made that covenant but the power the forces behind that problem covenant they still want to make sure that that covenant come to existence but the blood of jesus christ has made a better covenant this morning because of the accomplished work of christ on the cross of calvary i release myself the blood of jesus has made a better covenant this morning i release myself and my children from every inherited evil covenant in the name of jesus christ in jesus name i break and i lose myself from every inherited evil curse in the name of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I break and I lose myself from every inherited evil curse in Jesus' name. Every curse of non-achievement this morning, I break and I lose myself and I lose my children from every curse of non-achievement, every curse of failure this morning. I break and I lose myself in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. In the name of Jesus, I command all foundational strong men attached to my life to be paralyzed this morning in the name of Jesus Christ I command all foundational strong men that 
is causing frustration in my life, in my children's life. This morning, I command them to be paralyzed, be paralyzed in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. I want us to ask the Lord this morning, that my Father, let any road of the wicked rising up against my family line be rendered impotent for my sake in the name of Jesus. Maybe you are the only one in the family that have come to know Christ. You know you can bring them under the umbrella of the Lord this morning. That Lord, for your name's sake and for my sake, oh Lord, because I've known you, I'm standing in the gap for my children, for my grandchildren this morning. Let any road of the wicked rising up against my family line be rendered impotent for my sake in the name of Jesus Christ. Because, oh Lord, I've known you. Lord, your word said, because he knows my name, he will call upon me and I will answer. Lord, I've known you this morning. That you are my Lord, you are my Savior. You are the omnipotent God. You are the righteous God. So, Father, let any rod of the wicked rising up against my family line be rendered impotent for my sake. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Pray this morning that you evil foundational plantation come out of my life with all your roots in the name of Jesus Christ. Evil plantational foundational plantations come out of my life. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Evil foundational plantations come out out of my life, out of my children's life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I break and I lose myself from every form of demonic bewitching. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Galatians, who has bewitched you? You know, this power of bewitchment doesn't matter who you have, whether you are a Christian or non-Christian, when they come upon you, unless the Spirit of God allow you to know, pray this morning, I break and I lose myself from every form of demonic bewitching, in the name of Jesus Christ, I break and I lose my children from every form of demonic bewitching this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I release myself from every domination and control, evil domination and control, I release myself I release my children because Christ has finished the work on the cross of Calvary. Christ has set me free this morning. I release myself and my family from every evil domination and control. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Pray this morning that, Father, let every gate open to the enemy, but my foundation be closed forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, my Father, let every gate open to the enemy, but my foundation be closed, be closed, be closed forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, our God, this morning, let every gate open to the enemy by the foundation of my children be closed forever. Let it be closed this morning in the name of Jesus in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray the Lord, Lord Jesus, walk back into every second of my life and deliver me where I need deliverance, O Lord. Heal me where I need healing and transform me where I need transformation, O Almighty Father. We have come into your presence this morning because we know that, O Lord, you are our source, Father. You are our healer. Lord, you are our deliverer. Lord, you are the one that transforms. You are the one that changes story. So, Father, this morning, walk back into every second of our life every second of our children's life oh lord and lord deliver us where we need deliverance lord this day lord heal us oh lord where we need your divine healing power this morning and father where we need transformation this day lord we're asking you that oh lord you will transform us in the mighty name of jesus christ in jesus name amen pray this morning that father let every evil imagination against me wither from the source. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father, this morning I pray thee, Lord, let every evil imagination against me wither from the source. Every evil imagination against me, against my children, oh Lord, my Father, let it wither to the source in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, gracious Lord. 
Let all those laughing me to scorn. Let them witness my testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. By your mercy, Lord. Let everyone, everyone, all those laughing me to scorn. Let them witness my testimony. All those laughing my children to scorn. Oh, mighty Father, let them witness our testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. So pray that, Father, let all the destructive plan of the enemy. Hey, me against me. Hey, me against my children blow up in their faces in the name of jesus christ because lord you will frustrate their effort so father god divine let all destructive plan of the enemy aim against me and my family blow up in their faces in the name of jesus christ in jesus name amen as the lord this morning that my father my lord by your mercy let my point of ridicule be converted to a source of miracle in the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, my Father, whether in my place of work, in my ministry, in my marriage, Lord God Almighty, Lord, you know the point of ridicule in my life. Father, Lord, this morning, I call unto you, your all-powerful God. Let my point of ridicule be converted to a source of miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, our Father, we lift our children before you this morning. Any point of ridicule in their life, Lord, let it be converted converted to a source of miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, pray this morning. Let all powers sponsoring evil decision against me be disgraced in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, this morning, let all powers sponsoring evil decision against me be disgraced. Let them be disgraced in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. I want us to pray. Let the stronghold of every spirit of Korah, Dayton, and Abiram militating against me be smashed to pieces this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, mighty Father, let every stronghold of every spirit of Korah, Dayton, and Abiram militating against me be smashed. Let it be smashed to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, let every spirit of Balaam hired to cause me fall after the order of Balaam in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, every spirit of Balaam higher to cause the work of my hand, to cause the work of my children's hand this morning. Oh Lord, my Father, let that spirit be fall after the order of Balaam in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this morning that every spirit of Sambalat and Tobiah. That is hearing the work of God. That is hearing, bringing discouragement to the heart of the people, playing, you know, making plan to make sure that the, 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 there's no restoration in my life, in the in my the work of my hand. Pray this morning. If you read Nehemiah, you will understand that power. That Sambalat and Tobiah, they were planning. They did not want the Nehemiah to build, to build, to rebuild the gate, the, the Jerusalem, to rebuild the city. They were a against it this morning any power that is against the development of good work in my life that did not want me to achieve anything in the name of jesus father pray this morning let every spirit of sambalat and tobiah planning evil against me receive this Stones of fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of Sambalat and Tobiah planning evil against me, against my children. Lord, let them receive, frustrate them this morning. Let them receive the stones of fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And let every spirit of Egypt that want to keep me in perpetual slavery, oh Father God, let them fall after the order of Pharaoh this morning. It's a spirit. This morning, pray. They just want to keep you in bondage. They do not want you to go in the name of Jesus. They know that you have potential, but they want to keep you under. This morning, pray that, Lord, let every spirit of Egypt fall after the order of Pharaoh. Every spirit of Egypt, I want to keep my children or keep me in bondage in the name of Jesus Christ. That do not want me to go. That just want to enslave me. This morning, let every spirit of Egypt fall after the order of Pharaoh. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray this morning because it's a spirit, it's a force that we're dealing with. You know, they, we're not reigning, we're not living in that period, but that spirit is still operating. Pray this morning, every spirit of Herod 
be disgraced. That is the spirit that killed goatees at infancy. Pray this morning, this morning, that Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come against that spirit of Herod that destroyed goatees at infancy. In the name of Jesus Christ, you start the project. Just as the thing is just springing up, it died. Ah, this morning, every spirit of frustration, every spirit that is causing frustration, every spirit of error in my life, in the life of my children, be disgraced, be disgraced in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Not only that, it manifests at the spirit of Goliath. Remember, the spirit of Goliath, that giant looks so ethic, so giant, so big that you know, make the people, the, the children of Israel to be afraid. They had us to make them to, to run back. This morning, it's a spirit of frustration that in any form, it looks so big that you cannot face it. This morning, pray in the name of Jesus. Since we already get this training order against that spirit of frustration, let the name of Jesus, every spirit of, 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 of Pharaoh fall. Every spirit of Goliath receive the stones of fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of Goliath in my life, in the life of my children, receive the stones of fire and fall, fall in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. And this other spirit, you think you escape, but they keep following you. <laughs> By the time you know it, they are after you again. Spirit of Pharaoh, they want to pursue you. They will not let you go. And in the name of Jesus, come against that spirit this morning. That Lord, let every spirit of Pharaoh fall into the Red Sea of his own making. In the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit that will not let me go. That say, oh, pursue her. Do not let her go. In the name of Jesus, bring her back. Spirit of backwardness this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you keep going. You come back to the same spot this morning. You think you already make it. Then before you know it, you are the same back to the same station. This morning, every spirit that want to draw me back, every spirit that want to bring me back, that want to draw me back, every spirit of backwardness, this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, receive the be, be drown in this your own sea, in your own making, in the name of Jesus, spirit of Pharaoh, fall into the red sea of your own making, in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. Let us pray this morning that Lord my Father, let us satanic manipulations. Aim at changing my destiny. Be frustrated. Be frustrated this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord my Father. This morning. Let every satanic manipulations aim at changing my children's destiny. Be frustrated. Let it be frustrated. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord our God. Let all of profitable broadcasters of my goodness be silenced in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, this morning, let all unprofitable broadcasters of my goodness be silenced in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be silenced in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, hallelujah. You know, let us pray. We know we have some among us. You have your paper with the immigration. We'll be waiting, waiting, waiting. Or you want to have a way this morning, ask the Lord, that Father God, every spirit of frustration, every spirit of delay this morning, let it come to an end. Make a way for me, Father Lord. Show me favor, Lord, this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, ask for favor for those that need their paper this morning. That God, you will show them favor. Let us pray for our brothers and our sisters this morning. That Father God, you will come through for them. In the mighty name of Jesus. And for those who need employment, let us pray that our Lord and our God, you will open door of good employment for them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father. Father God, we thank you this morning. Father, Lord, for our children that will be going to school this morning, we commit them before you, able hand, O oh Lord, that you wash over them in all the campuses where they are, Father, that no evil will be for them, that no evil will come near them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask that you give your angels charge concerning all our children, O oh Lord, young and old, whether they are in daycare, whether they are in high school, whether they are in elementary, or whether 
whether they are in the college, wherever they are this morning, Father Lord, we ask for your divine protection over our children, O oh Lord, that you will cover them. We pray, Father Lord, for the teachers, for all those that we ministry to our children this morning, whether in form of cooking for them or serving them in one form or the other. Lord, we ask for your grace upon each and every one that will come in contact to our children this day, that you will bless them, O oh Lord, and that your blessing will be upon each one of them in the name of Jesus. We pray for their teachers, O oh Lord, that we give them the patience they will need, O oh Lord, and the grace that they will need, Father Lord, to do their work diligently in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for our medical staff this morning. We ask, O oh Lord, for your protection over them. Lord, our God, we pray for those that will dispense medication this morning, that today they will not give wrong medication. Oh, Father Lord, those that need help this morning, that need to be in the surgery room today. Father Lord, you are the great surgeon. We ask for your presence, O Lord, that everything will work well today, Father, for the good and the honor of your name, O Lord. And gracious Father, we pray for our 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 police, O oh Lord, and Father, for our firefighter, we leave them before you, Lord, as they try to keep us safe. Father, we ask that you keep them safe as well. Lord, our God, we asking you for your presence. It will reign and rule in our land, O oh Lord, in our neighborhood today, Father, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your name be glorified, O oh Lord God divine, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your love and for your mercy over all men, especially those those in authority. Lord, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray for our leaders this morning. We ask, O oh Lord, that you will give them leaders and give them wisdom, O oh Lord, and empower them, O oh Lord, to demonstrate sincere love for all men that show no partiality in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray, give them the vision, O oh Lord, the vision to lead in all and in fear of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we ask, O oh Lord, that your will be done, O oh Lord, on earth in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, you are the ruler of the nations. Let all men come to the knowledge of your kingdom and your word, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. For the kingdom is the Lord and he is the governor over all among the nations. So, Lord, let the nation forsake their evil ways and come to the realization that you are the governor among the nations so lord so father reign let your kingdom come let your will be done on earth today father as it is in heaven establish your kingdom of righteousness lord establish your kingdom of peace in every nation in the name of jesus christ lord where there is war we're asking you lord that you make war to cease by your mercy father lord god almighty hear the cry of these innocent children lord that are crying father lord to you today father god hear their cry show mercy mercy, Father, and let war cease, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Some, O Lord, is a civil war. Lord God Almighty, some, O oh Lord, it's even war in the family, but our Lord and our God, you are the author of peace. Let your peace reign, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Our Lord and our God, we want to remember hmm, those that they don't have their freedom. They are in prison for one reason or the other. Lord, we ask for your special visitation upon them this morning. Lord, our God, we pray, the Father, because your word makes us to know that for God so love the word that he gave his and only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have the everlasting life so faithful and merciful father through your own science oh lord you know the heart of men and by your mercy oh lord vindicate those who are suffering unjustly in prison vindicate them oh lord come true for them in the mighty name of jesus and for those who are there oh lord for the wrong they have doing we are asking you Lord, that the spirit of repentance will come upon them in the name of Jesus Christ, that they will turn to you, that they will see the light, oh Lord. Let them see you as the only light who can shine forth in their darkness, God, in the name of Jesus.
Jesus. And Lord, we pray that we let them come to the knowledge of true light in the name of Jesus. And Father, Lord, for these people, they have families, so oh Lord, who are sovereign and along with them. Lord, this morning, we lift them up before you. We ask you, Lord God Almighty, that you will come to them, oh Lord. You will comfort them, oh Lord, that you will strengthen them and that they will, they will have their hope in you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. It is good thing to be in your presence this morning. We give you all the glory, all the honor for this wonderful privilege you have given to us. May your name be praised, O oh Lord. And as we go now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you for coming this morning. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you and make his face to shine upon you. Please share with others. Let all others join us in this prayer. God bless you.